Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. Here we have a simplifying problem that involves uh, a large index. See the uh, fourth root of 3 to the 6th power. And we have a negative exponent. So we need to simplify this whole expression. Well, how do you do that? First of all, what you need to do is think of the first radical as a fractional power. That is 3 to the 6 fourths power. Okay, the 4 is the index and that's the denominator of your fraction. Let's go ahead and look at the next part. The negative 2 power means that that goes in the denominator of a fraction. So it's 1 over 3 squared. Can we simplify 3 to the 6 fourths power? Yes, of course. So it would be 3 to the 3 halves power plus 1 over 9 if we multiply out 3 squared. How do you write 3 halves as a power? Well, we're going to convert it back into a radical symbol. That means the square root of 3 to the third power. Remember that the assumed index is a 2. It's a common radical, so we don't write the 2. Well, what is 3 to the third power? That, of course, would be 27, radical 27, plus 1 ninth. Oh, a few more steps. Can you think of 27 as the factor of Sorry, a multiple of a perfect square factor? Yes. 9 is a perfect square. So finally, you would write 3 radical 3 plus 1 ninth. Those are unlike terms. Final answer. All right. How did you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, Email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.